process of existence, man. Where you die, you go back up to the spirit world, you come back and live a life and be just again, and that process repeats itself, man. We're coming up into a paradigm shift of an, of an ultimate judgment. That's why you have so many people on the planet Earth right now. That's right. Because the, the biggest judgment in the history of the world is getting ready to be issued out. All right, go to Ecclesiastes 3, skip down to uh, 12. If you can't see that, what the brother's talking about, then you fuck up. You gotta snap it to it, man. You have to know that something's not right with this current society. That's right. You have to know that, that this has to stop in order for you to be happy. It's yeah. got to stop. It's got to, it got right. to it, man. That's right, brother. If you don't come to that conclusion in your mind, then... Right, and a white man can walk around so proud because he know he snatched your ball. He know he castrated you and took your heart from you. That's why you, he know you Negroes not gonna do nothing but keep marching, keep talking, keep doing vlog talks. He got you down to a science. He, he know you Negroes not gonna do nothing but keep working for him, keep applying for an application, keep begging him for money. You're not gonna do nothing, man. That's right, man. You ain't gonna stand up for nothing, man. That's right. Yeah, but, but, but it's gonna require the Lord to stand up for it, That's man. right, bro. Because this uh, so-called white man, his blessing was the sword, man. So the Lord is gonna come back with spiritual power and take this man down. And the state that he's had the world resting in for so long is gonna be done away with. And life is gonna be renewed on the earth, okay? The actual way of existence, man. Out. We're gonna come to this because I want to make a point on this. We're gonna come back to this uh, real quick. Psalms chapter 104, verse 29, uh -huh. verse 28. That thou givest them, they uh, that thou givest them, they gather, thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good, thou hidest thy face, they are troubled, thou takest away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. Thou sendest forth after they die, they return to, uh, to the earth, they go back up to the spirit world, then the Lord sendeth forth, uh, send forth his spirit, and then the earth is renewed, man. You are reincarnated, regenerated. Alright, let's go to uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 3, and let's start at 15. Ecclesiastes 3, verse 15. Go ahead. That which has been is now. Uh-huh. And that which is to be have already been. Have already been. So you are you were back there getting your backs whipped in slavery. You actually were back there. Alright? Your physical, that's why it offends you when you watch Rosewood. That's why it speaks to you when you watch 12 Years a Slave. Because you were there. Right, right. Alright? And these old, decrepit, evil Edomites were back there whipping you. And they have the same mentality towards you today, man. That's right, Aki. They hate you. They can't. They love the fact that you in South Dallas struggling. That's right. They love the fact that you are in some Oklahoma reservation struggling. They love the fact that in order for you to make it in the system, you got to tap dance and coon. And, 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 and basically be a clown for them within their system and play by their rules. If you want to make it in this society, you better play by my rules, boy. That's right. All right? And then when you do make it, they still strip you of taxes and everything like that, man. That's right. All right? Keep reading. And the most high requires that which is past. The most high requires that which is past. Keep reading, though. And moreover, I saw under the sun uh -huh. the place of judgment. Uh -huh. That wickedness was there. Wickedness was there. Where? Where's that place of judgment? That's here on earth. Go ahead. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. Uh huh. I said in my heart. Uh huh. So, so you mean to tell me if the place of wickedness that uh 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 uh, uh that, that was there, that was hell, but at the same time you got hell, you got wickedness and righteousness down in hell. Right. That lets you know that that whole myth about hell is BS, man. Right. Our righteousness and wickedness is gonna play out right here on, uh, in this realm, man. That's right. This third-dimensional realm that we've been given. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 3 and 17. Uh-huh. I said in mine heart, uh -huh. the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. He gonna judge the righteous and the wicked. Keep reading. And there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. Uh-huh. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men. Uh-huh, the estate of the sons of men. What is that estate of the sons of men? Read. 
that the Most High might manifest them, uh -huh. and that they might see that they themselves are beasts. They are that they themselves are beasts. Why? Because they're in a state of perpetual wickedness, man. Because they have they have left the tree of life. What is the tree of life? The tree of life culminates into the understanding of the law. What is the law? The law is the prepared way for you to coexist with the planet, man. That's right. That's going to be re-ingrained in our minds, man. All right? That's why the so-called white man wants you to live an impulsive life, man. To draw you into a beast-like state. Because his impulsive way of living is antagonistic, is against the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. So get uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2. Now skip down to the 22nd verse. Yeah, because the white man won't try to work like clockwork. Wake up, go to sleep, same time. Do the same thing at the same time, like clockwork. Mm -hmm. You know, don't even think about what you're supposed to do. Just do what he say do. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is the Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 22. As for the mysteries of the Most High, they, not, they knew them not. Mm -hmm. Read. Neither hoped they for the wages of righteousness. They didn't, they, this, this society don't hope for the wages of righteousness. Go ahead. Nor discern a reward for blameless souls. Uh -huh. they, don't, they don't discern. When we're out here preaching the word, no one's discerning a reward that, that, that we have faith and hope to receive. What is that? What is that reward? Immortality. Immortality on the earth. Read. For the Most High created man to be immortal. The Most High has created man to be immortal. It's set up for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to rule the world in righteousness under your one true power. Right. In immortality. You see, the state that we live in now is a mortal state. That's why you live to 55 and you got heart disease, gout. Uh, you know, you're sick, all right? Why? Because you believed in lies your whole life. you still in 2014. Where's Chesedek? Where's Chesedek? Pick up Chesedek. You still got people in 2014 that believe in this image. You got Google, Yahoo, Bing, all these internet resources to figure out who this man really is and why is this image put up in your churches? Why would he lie about what the Lord looked like? That's right. If, if it doesn't matter what he looks like, because that's always what they go to. Mm. It doesn't matter what yep. he looks like. God is love. Right. Then why'd you lie about it? Mm -hmm. Then why'd you lie about it? Right. Huh? Why did you teach the whole world that this was the, uh, Jesus? Huh? Because there's power in that, man. There's control in that, man. He can continue to subjugate you and treat you like a piece of crap as long as you believe that he's the God to come and save your life, man. As long as you believe in your mind, in your thoughts, in your heart, that this is the man that's going to save the world, you will allow this man to do anything to you, man. That's right. And he has, man. The so-called white man, who his name, biblical name is Esau, the nation of Edom, who is totally set against your people, who has relegated your people to the hoods, to the barrios, to the reservations across the world, man. Who's gone across the world and bombed everybody. Who's put fluoride in your water. Who put oil in the oceans. Who's the decimated whole ecosystem and species of creatures, man. This dude is out of control. Y'all can't see that this man is out of control? Y'all cannot look and see, okay, man, this guy's out of control. He won't stop. He, he, GMOs in your food. You don't know what's going to happen to your cellular composition 20 years down the road when when, when, your, uh, when your receptors are not binding to the right ions. Right. Uh, yeah. you, you don't know what's going to happen to you when you got fake synthetic magnesium, calcium, iron, oxygen, all these different fake ions that they created in the lab. You bond it. That's why you're so fat and you can't run it off. You can't run off the fat that they put in McDonald's. You can run all day, but you're going to have that flat blubber sitting right on your stomach because it ain't right, man. Right. This world ain't right. You ain't supposed to die at 55 of heart disease, man. That's right. Your body is supposed to regenerate. That's right. right, That's right. You're supposed to live like Methuselah, man. That's right. You're supposed to carry on. The Most High didn't make the earth for us to sit here and suffer all damn day. That's right. We're supposed to thrive and live on the, on the earth, man. Right. You gotta go to work and you ain't there 10, you 10 minutes late, I'm gonna write you up. Now, you worried about getting to work, you rushing to work, you get into a car wreck. Now, you gotta take the damn car to the mechanic, you ain't got no money. Now, you gotta borrow from your ugly friend that you don't really like, 
Now you gotta go to this person and ask for a, 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 Too much. a ride to work. Too much. Man, this ain't, man, that's not what we supposed to be doing, that's man. Right, brother. This ain't living, man. He's put you in a state of perpetual death and you've accepted it. That's right. Man was meant to live on earth immortally. But we have to have a righteous power to carry that forth, man. That's right. right. You have to understand that the Lord don't like America. That's right. The Lord, the Heavenly Father, don't like the current state of the world, man. That's right. The right. current state of the world is against your life, man. That's right. You can't even take a breath of air. You got asthma, allergies, breathe in deep. Don't worry, I wait. You don't even know what it's like to run. You've never tasted food. You've never tasted water. You've never drank clear water. Right. You've never got to really just enjoy your children. You're worried if somebody's going to take them at school and have sex with them. Right. You can't even sleep, dude. I'm sitting there. Uh, I hope they got the cameras. I'm at work looking on my laptop trying to see if my son is getting beat up at daycare. This is not living, man. It's time for our people to stand up for something. Right. Do you see them Negroes out there in Ferguson, Missouri, when they just shot that boy? I don't give a damn what he stole, man. You have to pump them full of 10 bullets, man. They out there fighting for something, that, but they don't even understand what they fight. This is a spiritual battle. They hate you because of your soul. They hate you so-called Negroes. They hate you so-called Latinos. And they hate you so-called Native Americans because of your spirit, man. The Most High has separated you. Better. Give me Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter. We were meant to be separated. That's why the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans create everything. You want a new dance? You go look at the Latinos, Negroes, and Native Americans, man. You want a, a, a new invention? Who built this place? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You need some medicine to heal your body? We the ones who know how to go out in the field and crush the berries up and crush the leaves up. Here, take this. This will make you feel better. We know how we have the spirit of life in us, man. But it's been uh, uh, destroyed because our people are wicked and they worship idols. They worship themselves and they worship the so-called white man and all his philosophy and images. When he has built a world completely around paganism wow. right. and, and, and the flesh. Yep, and then he built the whole world contrary to the laws of God. Yep. Right. This whole system is oppos opposite to what the laws of God say to do. Mm -hmm. yep. Right in your face. Yep. And you just love yep. to have it yep. so, yep. man. You don't have a complaint in the world that homosexuality is on, well, on the rise. Right in front of your face. Right in front of your children's face, they just promote this agenda. All right? And, and so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans just love it. Yeah, they, yeah, you you at each other's throats, but you're not mad at the so-called yeah. the, the man who was doing this. Then you go crazy and get happy because they put him in office. That's right. But he's sporting their agenda. He ain't mentioned you. He don't care about. But you know who did mention about. you? The Lord of the Bible. That's right. Right. <laughs> That's right. All right. He's the one worried about you. He gave you law so that you could be a holy and royal people. But you turned your back on it mm -hmm. and you went yep. to religion. Now look at you. Now look at you. You're at the bottom of the bottom following that BS, man. That ain't never been in the image of the Lord, man. That's right. And the Lord died on the cross for the elect of his people, man. He ain't died for everybody. That's another myth they want to put up in there, man. You got to get into these scriptures and really understand them, man. The Bible is a select book. Read it. Deuteronomy. Y'all want to hear about racism? Read the Bible. Read this. Yes. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh huh. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. He's talking about a specific group. He ain't talking about everybody. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh huh. Go ahead. Above all people. That's right. That are upon the face of the earth. Above all people. That's why we better at everything, man. That's why we know. That's why we know how to make everything. That's why we play uh, football, basketball, boxing. We draw better. We cook better. We look better. We dance better. We have sex better. We do everything better. Sing better. We sing better. All right. All right. They can't get down like us, man, because we special. And our people are ashamed to say that, man. All right. They get nervous. When you start saying that, like I'm special, well, what yeah. about the? Yeah, you get mad. You get mad at uh, get mad at Floyd Mayweather because he believe in himself. That's right. That's a damn demon on you, man. Get mad at Terrell Owens because he think he great. Get mad if any black man get up and say, you know what, I'm the best at this. So nobody can't beat me. Look at that nigga. Yeah, he an arrogant nigga. But a white man get up and say something and destroy the, a whole continent yeah. and, and stand on top of the continent and name the continent after himself. That's right. He done killed everybody. Yeah. Put up a fake flag and name the place Puerto Rico. This is a rich port because when I came here and killed the, the, the Tainos and the Boricuas, I got rich. Alright? Right, and they, 